<laughs> uh, all right. So there is a comic out right now that's being produced. It's not out yet, but it's on. It was on Kickstarter. It's not on Kickstarter anymore. And it's called Private American. And it's by Mikey Barron, who is uh, one of the older. He had like a five year run on The Punisher. And it has been shut down by Kickstarter. And, they're, and they feel like as if they're dealing with heavy censorship here because of the themes of this comic. I want to read the pitch for this comic, okay. just so everyone knows what it's about. It says, America's border is a war zone. The U.S. border with Mexico has been overrun with lawless coyotes flowing across the Rio Grande, bringing in weapons, smuggling illegal drugs, and trafficking as slaves across the country. Border patrol agents are overwhelmed and seemingly powerless, while the U.S. government refuses to help. In fact, the administration seems to actively support open borders. But when the violence reaches his doorstep, one man takes matters into his own hands. Yes. And that is Private American. <laughs> he has the Gadsden flag snake, the rattlesnake, on his suit. It is hilarious to me, before we move on, how people still think that that's like a, a racist. So like, Well, I mean, we read this Daily Kos that, article, yeah, which right was here. extremely defamatory, that immediately pointed out the Gadsden flag symbol it, and said that it is used by neo-Nazis, and, and Trump I, I was unaware. No, they, they say they say the, the use of the Gadsden flag snake is obvious is an obvious dog whistle to the Tea Party and Trump rally goers who popularized the Gadsden flag to use in substitute for the rebel flag. Not understanding that like there's whole states that have the, that you can get the, the Gadsden flag on your license plate yeah. and it has nothing to do with that. So Nor this, do they understand that it is a, a revolution war symbol this hit piece written by star mignon is titled punisher writer mike barron releases another racist af comic book now it used to claim that mike barron was the creator of the punisher which not. is entirely untrue and then a co-creator of the punisher jerry named conway, G jerry conway yeah. had to go on twitter and correct the record but at the same time Throw Mike Barron under the bus and I, call him in like this racist a hole, and uh, it, it it was very sleazy. To I do want to. I, I do think I, I'm wondering out loud here because I don't remember off the top of my head. I think Jerry Conway was the one who got upset because he didn't like. He's the one who he doesn't like the fact that cops use the Punisher symbol or right. that the military. It's uses been adopted the by symbol. a lot of right wing people. Yes. Just because they like the symbol, yeah. but it's another case of like your art will be interpreted however, however it's interpreted yep. and you need to let it go. This is one of my greatest fears that I verbalize on the show manifesting. What? I said famously that the reason that the motive to combat culture is not to make cringe culture for the right instead of the left. Oh, absolutely. And this is and what we were going to get into. Here we have it. Here, here it is. Private American. I'm sorry. This comic is lame. It's made for Gen First Xers. First the name. It's, Private American. It's overtly political, which is boring. It's lame. made for Gen Xers who are boring. <laughs> 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 Most <laughs> Brett loves them. I mean, he's almost one of them by I, the year. I don't agree. I, I agree that it's not my cup of tea. Uh, I wouldn't I, I don't think I would spend the money on it, but I don't know if necessarily you're still filling a market You're still you're still uh, providing something that people clearly want to okay. that, that for me This is the same thing as that comic that was safe space and snowflake, snowflake. but the, 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 yes yeah, No, like, that was uh, yeah, or rebels the, run which yeah. ended up being a complete farce because no those comics funding Yeah, but the comics of that still came out the Arcade and Comics right. version of it still came out. Here's but the like thing. the Rebels Run film. But the, the, my problem with this is the way that the the publication uh, categorizes it. The, the way that it's categorized by the the in the article here. So uh, Punisher writer Mike Barron releases another racist AF comic, uh, and this is where they get into it down here. They talk about the comic as if they've already read it in this article that was produced on the ninth, mm -hmm. but they haven't read it yet. They just make assumptions and use that to slander it, which then was used to take the comic down right so they liken it to stochastic terrorism which by the way we're going to go through this because i've been by hearing so much of that term now by definition stochastic terrorism means the public there is a there is a likelihood of yeah. this uh, of this comic 
encouraging terrorist behavior, but they can't prove it, and there's no Imagine. proof that any of it has actually occurred. First the, off, no so one's going to read this. So it's completely perspective. Yeah. The public demonization of a person or group resulting in the incitement of a violent act, which is statistically probable, but whose specifics cannot be predicted. Is there anything more generic yeah. and unprovable? I literally can't think so of So they're it. basically saying that this comic is a domestic terrorism handbook because the main <laughs> character in it goes across the border as a vigilante. He kills people who are smuggling fentanyl across the border. He kills people who are smuggling people, and he's just. Look, it, it does have violence, but it's never characterized as hurting innocent people or committing bad acts guys. of terrorism. They are bad against guys. innocent yeah. civilians. It's essentially self defense if you read about it. However, the main sin of Private American is not whether they're inciting violence or promoting hatred or it's stereotyping cringe. or whatever, it's cringe. It's that they're creating wokeness for the right wing. They're not improving the comic books industry. And while they may have a cult audience for this stuff, that audience is going to disappear at some point. You need to create things that are not overtly political, that are entertaining in their own right and are made for mass appeal. If you want to heal what has happened to this industry. But here's the thing. That's not their responsibility, nor do they claim that that's what they're trying to do here. Did they? Did they? Oh, no, because I guess they did phrase it as like without preaching. Right. But right. I they don't say see this isn't preachy. It doesn't lecture you. And it's just adrenaline drenched storytelling. That's fine. But this is preachy. We, it is telling you. You do not know that because we have not read it yet. That's that's our assumption is that the writing will be preachy. You think the themes are preachy. Listen here, Captain Contrarian. No, <laughs> I disagree well, from the beginning on this one. He, I know. Here's the thing. It's there. It's overtly political. So, you there, how by can theme. you work by theme? Yes, but like, how can you work around it? Okay, they made the movie. Did anybody see Sicario? Sicario no. is literally a movie that takes place at the border. That is extremely well done. Josh Brolin. Uh, in the whole movie, uh, Emily Blunt, right? And that movie is is one of uh, is uh, De uh, Denis Villeneuve's masterpieces, if you ask me. And this is one of those things. Like, could this be really good? Really good? Yeah, I think it could. We don't like the theme. We think the themes are very Fox and Friends, right? Yes. yes. They they talk about the words. That doesn't mean that the execution is bad. You're I mean, you're judging the, other, the execution based on the themes. The other comic that this guy put out. Is called Thin Blue Line. That is because the, the, the name theme, alone is, is cringy. Yes. The theme is it's, the it's issue for what? like a bunch of gray-haired conservative guys who post about backing the blue and have Twitter avies of them wearing sunglasses Wait, in their cars. I, sorry, the theme is the issue. The I mean, I I don't care about the execution because the theme is the issue for me. Yeah, like there there there's so many spaces and dialogues. And shows and podcasts already that are hyper political. Mm -hmm. I just need a piece of media, like a piece of media, like a piece of content that isn't. And I feel like there's this misconception on like the counterculture side of the thing that if it's not left wing, then it's okay. And it's like perhaps to you, but my grievance and the grievance with people that think like me is that it's not about whether it's left wing or right wing. Like I, I think left wing people make some interesting points and in content as well. It's the fact that the incessant need to do political content, whether it's high or lowbrow, like I'm just yeah. sick of it. Like, is it their responsibility to make something for mass appeal. No, they can do whatever they want, obviously. And it's not right for them to be banned on Kickstarter, to be shadow banned That's on Indiegogo. Yeah. Yeah. They shouldn't be forced to go to alternative platforms, but they are, and that's not fair. However, we're judging this project on the merits of what we know about it so far before it's released. I'm judging and it based on the censorship and the- I, Why I, are we you judge I, the merits of no, the project I, no, based on it I'm being censored? I, You're focusing on whether you think the project is a good idea or yeah, not. Yeah, we just I'm, said it shouldn't yeah. be censored though. Uh, it, yeah. So my question we is- We agree like, with you. It shouldn't be yeah. censored and that's wrong. And 
the things that this Daily Kos article were saying about it, like comparing it to Mein Kampf, comparing it to the Turner Diaries. It's ridiculous. Saying that it radicalizes people to be insurrectionists. Like, obviously, that is ridiculous on its face, and only the people who read the Daily Kos every day believe what they're reading here. Everyone else can see how ridiculous that is. And no, they shouldn't be banned for any of this, even if what this article was saying is true. They shouldn't be banned from Kickstarter. We all agree on that. But we're just pointing out the obvious, which is that this project is cringe. And if they have any hope of counteracting this type of censorship, they need mass appeal and audience like for the Ripiverse that will advocate for them on a mass scale that will crowdfund more than two and a half thousand dollars to get it printed and colorized. That they they only raised two thousand five hundred dollars on Kickstarter before they were suspended on Kickstarter. And That's not enough to counteract the censorship. And one last point. So I think it it was marketing itself as like pure like on unadul- a unadulterated fun or something like that. They said it's it's Action. pure adrenaline drenched storytelling without preaching or lecture. So that's the thing. Like e- even if it's subtle preaching and lectures, it's pre preaching and lectures. And yeah. Tell me how. You, okay, then I want. Then I'm. Then I ask question. How do you do this story without that? We're how saying do, that the theme don't. itself is. So you, can't, you just can't tell the a story. Reason that it's you can't tell the story. I'm just saying, like, I'm I'm not an advocate for it because I'm sick of political stuff. Like, so that's how it. do they? So, uh, so, so Sicario works in 2015 because it's more about the death of this the lead character's wife, right? So in the in that movie, he's going after this drug kingpin because his wife is murdered. Josh Brolin plays the government agent. He comes in. It's a far more dynamic story. But I had to see the movie to know that. I don't know what the internal themes of this comic are. We're just like, if you looked at Sicario without actually watching the movie, it sounds like a Fox and Friends movie that got made. Okay, but it's but not. You are introducing me to this. Not you. I mean, literally the, the makers. They're introducing this piece of content to me with the most, you know, absolutely... What, what what's the figure of speech on the nose yeah like at the border it's worse than ever and there's this one guy like they even you know, cite Carlson, sources like tucker for, carlson is the one reading it out seriously loud. they it's even like, on their kickstarter link to sources as evidence that this is actually happening yeah. in real life and, and it's, it's like i don't want to read about real life news i want to read a story and it's like what you were saying with cinderella how this person played cinderella who mm. who was it brandy brandy played cinderella and like no one gave a damn back then it's because they didn't go like well brandy as a woman of color is gonna like no they're just like hey here's cinderella brandy and people you know since they didn't beat them on the nose with it they were all fine so maybe the idea here is that if you tell a more personal story, maybe you keep the story the same, but your pitch for it is about uh, an internal struggle or a conflict that the lead agent is having that bleeds into his work. His wife is killed, uh, like his wife is killed in a home invasion, uh, and they find out it's at the hands of drug runners who work for this kingpin that he needs to now go after. I'm basing that based solely off the idea that that's similar to what happened in Sicario. You can make it more personal, but that's just us basing our like uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda about what could have been done i'm saying that you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater and say the whole theme is bad you're just saying that the execution of the pitch is bad i'm saying Mm -hmm. that the general spirit of i don't like your political thing so i'm gonna make my political thing and shove it down your throat is equally bad I mean, right. I, still, I still thought the focus of this more was like the, the fact that uh, a publication messages Kickstarter and then it gets taken off, even though it was initially approved by Kickstarter and then removed later yeah. based on specious claims at best about what it might do to people in the future. That's yeah. my problem with it. Here's another thing. They never categorize. They point out that it's racist. AF and they point out he they they target uh, Hispanics they ha- uh, target people here 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 they never point out when they're like li- like leaving you this long diatribe that the that the protagonist of this is black they never he's mention not, that he's not black or, he's I'm sorry Cuban. he's he's he's, uh, he's Cuban they never mention that because they understand that it goes against what they're trying to say here sure you can, you can yeah. be black and Cuban yep so the, he was well he was not black he was just the, the point is they no. they purposely don't mention it because it's intellectually dishonest. Yeah, to their, yeah to their I, I agree them. that it's dis, it's dishonest and 
they're openly trying to take these people's ability to make money away from them and that's yeah. obviously unethical and i think they should take legal action because after getting kicked off of kickstarter after getting shadow banned on indiegogo and censored off of all of these social media platforms which arguably is one of the contributing factor factors to that censorship is getting smeared in a hit piece like this yeah. they have definite grounds for a suit and they did imply at least that they contacted legal representatives to begin yeah. looking at the situation and they if they're serious about this what they should do is send the daily costs a cease and desist yeah. and have a uh, process server give it to them directly and show they're serious about taking action and then maybe they'll set a precedent for other independent creators that are getting censored because it happens all the time. Even this comic is not e allowed to get mentioned on the comic subreddit. Also, like you can't mention these the existence of it, even if you're disparaging it. Also, here's the other thing. Is it really being shoved down your like this is this is a small Kickstarter campaign that can't even exist on its own. We have to like this stuff gets shoved down your throat by Disney, by Warner Brothers, by all of these companies in a small Kickstarter that yes, it's well, a th it's a thing you find and cringe and these people can't exist because one website says no. Listen, I don't obviously I don't want them to get back like that those yeah. are two different subjects entirely we sit here and criticize yeah. those giant studios and corporations all day every day that's what we do and just to point out the fact that private american or thin blue line are not examples of great alternatives to the, those mainstream yeah. products it doesn't mean that we're pro censorship it just means yeah. like yeah, you shouldn't be censored, but you'd have a way better shot at counteracting the censorship and getting success off platform like Ripiverse has if you make something that isn't overtly political and isn't corny. I don't even think that matters because he's constantly attacked. His is not political, but he's attacked constantly as if it is. Yes, he is attacked constantly, but he obviously has made over 10 times the amount of money that the creators of well, private american have then you're right because it's more appealing it's it's yeah well it's better marketed it's somebody with a larger platform it's a more appealing concept sure but i i don't think that that means that this one shouldn't at least try i mean may, like maybe you do too like this like yeah like it's a, uh, a thin blue line comic is cringe to me that's fine yeah but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't try you get uh you you hit gold once in a while with general concepts that turn out yeah. to be better i'm just saying that like for something like this, it is a problem to me when, yes, you, me, they may not like or think that this concept is cringe, but nobody is able to censor the Disney stuff. Nobody is censoring these companies that are doing stuff going the other direction. And you can't even have your your Proud Boys comic without w without some left-wing publication that was popular in the year 2000 somehow getting a multi-million dollar corporation like Kickstarter to take you off of it because boo-hoo, we don't like your comic because it's, it might be sort of kind of not PC. Yeah, and that's I, I agree. They should be able to have a platform to crowdfund. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not a problem whatsoever. However, like, when you make a comic called Fli Thin Blue Line that is about a vigilante police officer shooting down violent BLM rioters, I can't help but think people are reading this in their homes vicariously living through a character that is, you know, standing up for small businesses that are getting destroyed in real life, but they would never stand up for these people in real life. They would never leave their home. Most and people are like, the people who read Batman wouldn't go out and beat up criminals. They would not. They, they read yeah, Batman I'm just to saying, live vicariously like, through them. I'm just trying to get my finances in order. When it's, <laughs> it's really hard being Batman. When it's so explicitly political that it's based on real events that happened two years ago in exact locations, I can't help yeah. but think it's it's just uh it's really not like hitting like it's supposed to hit. And that's that's why particularly I okay again I I agree with you on the censorship bit. I don't want I don't want any of this like on that regard the stu that stuff to happen. But what I also don't want is like we we often use the metaphor of the pendulum swing. I don't I don't want wokeness being controlled by the right wing. You know, I, and, I, and I feel that's what some people want. Some people just want to like, oh, it's time to own the libs. And they, they just become the libs. 
Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.